How you doing? This is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh. And I want to talk about Seraphim and her kindness and the undeserved treatment she got from sending me gifts that I really appreciate. Was very happy to get by a bunch of trolls, liars, and slanderers on Belgab. Now, people out there don't know what Belgab it is. It's a discussion board. It has some of the most disgusting people and vile people and evil people on the internet. And one of them is Digital Pig Snuggler, the guy who the day before my birthday sent me a pizza, chicken wings, and I think a salad. And then the evil MV, the owner of that board, sends me a laptop, puts a virus on it, watches everything I do on my computer and my iPads, and they even uh, have cameras showing me with my pants down, showing my ass crack, Photoshop pictures of me, and everything else you can think of. Lies, slander, innuendo, made up stories, things that never happened. And to quote Digital Pig Snuggler, who is disgusting, not me, Senda is a felon, a pimp, a wife beater, a pedophile, a pathological welfare liar, excuse me, a welfare cheat, one of the most disgusting human beings you're likely to ever encounter outside of San Quentin. Well, first of all, I've never been to San Quentin, other than I'm driving by it. Yes, I'm a felon. I got into trouble when I was 20. I did something I shouldn't have done, and I got probation for it and completed it. Would I do it today? No. I never beat my wife. I have two longtime friends. One's known me since I was 16. I'm 64. The others know me since six months before I ever met my ex-girlfriend, Kathy. And both of them know Kathy, and both of them knew my ex-wife and met her. And if there had been any beating involved, she certainly would have told them about it. It never happened. I've never pimped anybody out. And that all comes from one sentence on a discussion board that no longer exists that I can't access. Even though there's a mirror sight of it somewhere. I don't know where it is. By someone who said, I was pimping out pregnant hookers. Well, I didn't know any pregnant hookers except two women, one of which who died of cancer. And that's 30 years ago. Before there ever was a Bell Gab or an SF Red Book. I'm not a liar. I can prove where I've been. I can prove what I've done. The good and the bad. I'm not a welfare cheat. I don't get unemployment. I don't pay federal taxes because I don't have any I don't have taxable income. And I am disabled, and there's enough medical paperwork that files are like this or more. In multiple departments in San Francisco, here, Sacramento, and everywhere I've lived. I have an injured back, two injured discs in my spine, two crushed discs, an injured knee, a sciatic nerve problem, a paralyzed foot that I can't move, hardly. The other one's partially paralyzed, and I've fallen because of that foot, and an injured kneecap that needs to be replaced. And I gained weight when I injured the kneecap 11 or 12 years ago. I don't even know how long ago it was. <clears throat> I fractured it and couldn't walk for a year. I walked on crutches, and I went from 260, and I was losing weight, to 345. And then when I got the first sinus infection... I went to, because of this tooth being infected that Western didn't, didn't pull for six months, I gained another 30 pounds. And it's been very hard to lose. And then when I post a picture on Belgab saying I've lost this much weight, they Photoshop it like they do everything else and make it look like I weighed 900 pounds and laugh about it. Just like they laughed about the, the animated gif of me eating the same piece of pizza over and over again. See, Belgab has some nice people on there, like Seraphim. They also have some evil people who just post, post after post where they attack me constantly. For no other reason that they feel morally superior to me, or superior at all, and it makes them feel important when they're not. They're trolls. 
And as for my saying, uh, turning on people, if you say something I don't like, I'm going to say it. If you suggest something I don't want to do, I'm not going to do it. Now, Coaster said from that site, he would like to see a day in the life of Falky. There's 1,222 videos, and every one of them in some sense is a day in the life of Falky. I go out and do videos. I do them in here. Then the final comment that I'm going to stroke out, this place is a pigsty, the usual crap. When I can't walk, I can't clean. When I'm sick with a sinus infection and bronchitis and coughing up my guts out, sometimes for hours at a time, I'm lying in bed sick. I can't clean. And it takes some months and the care, the, the um, social worker tell me it may take a number of months to get me approved for a caregiver. But today, when I got done with a video, I picked all this stuff off the floor. There's more to be done here. I only have so much money to do things. I don't have a car anymore or access to one. There's laundry here needs to be done. Things I got three bags of cans and bottles that need to be taken to a recycling place. But they're shutting those down because the state has run out of money, even though they charge us 10 cents a bottle. So you need to get off Seraphin's back and get off my back. I'm tired of people like Digital Pig Snuggler who post the same bullshit over and over and over again. The pimp, the wife beating, the pedophilia, the pathological liar, and the welfare cheating never happened. But he thinks it is because he thinks it's important to keep saying the same crap when there's no proof of it at all. All right. I was very happy for Seraphim to do something nice for me. I was totally unexpected. And I made the mistake, think it was something I had ordered from Amazon. I love Halloween. I love the stuff she got. I love the tree. I love the socks. I love the flashing skull mug, if I could find it to show it to you. And I love the kitty cat. And it was a very nice thing for her to do. The one mistake she made was she told a bunch of haters that she did something nice for me. And they jumped all over her ass for it. And that's terrible. All right, this is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Those of you out there that are nice and caring, have a nice evening. Enjoy your remainder of Sunday and be safe out there. And as for the boiling pit of sewage that's Bellgab, you can all jump in there and drown for all I care. Bye-bye.